to New Zealand. Now, while it may be best known for its lamb, it's pasta that's making headlines there these days, specifically adherents of the flying spaghetti monster, yes, also known as pastafarians. They are members of a social movement that promotes a lighthearted view of religion, and now their marriage ceremonies have been approved. I-24 News correspondent Shani Nakhshoni, the beautiful Shani Nakhshoni, has the peculiarities. Pastafarians? Prepare your pasta strainer and head to New Zealand, because for the first time, marriages of the flying spaghetti monster followers are recognized in the South Pacific country. For those of you who think that someone in the news lost it, here's the explanation. Pastafarians are people who believe in the flying spaghetti monster, which is a parodic religion. They ridicule all religions and their costumes, and like Jews wearing a yarmulke or Muslims a headscarf, pastafarians wear pasta strainers on their head. Many atheists have found a place in this church and formed the religion's code that includes the formal clothing, pirate costumes, all prayers end with ramen instead of amen, and every Friday is a holiday. In July 2011, an Austrian citizen was allowed, after a three-year battle, to wear the traditional strainer on his head in a driving license photo. He demanded his country respect the law that permits all religious head covers. And in 2014, a member of a city council in the state of New York was sworn in with the strainer on his head as well. But most of the attempts to legitimize the religion have failed. Now, the church has been acknowledged by New Zealand as a decent organization that acts in good faith. Under the country's law, an organization is allowed to perform religious wedding ceremonies as long as it proves that it's promoting a philosophical or religious belief. New Zealand was the first sovereign country to grant women the right to vote, so maybe they're just ahead of their time. Yes, and I called her beautiful before, but I must add beautiful and smart following the debate that we had. It's Shani Nakhshoni. She's still with us in to, the studio. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Shani, a uh, fascinating, interesting yes. story. How did this religion come about? Where did it start? Yes, it's actually it's a, it's a funny story, uh, and it's a uh, religion of atheists. You know, some of contradiction, but that's what it is. It started with a, a physis physicist. Uh, his name was Bobby Henderson. He wrote an, an open letter to the uh, Education Committee in Texas in 2005, and he told them uh, that uh, teaching, um, uh, they wanted to exchange the, the way uh, schools, public schools, teach evolution theory to something else. And he said that the, at the same time, they ju can just uh, uh, talk about a flying spaghetti monster. And he created this um, sort of god. And they had a success with the passports in the U.S. recently, not did Not passports, they not? but a, a license, driving Licenses. license. They let people uh, take their photos for their driving license, not only in the U.S., also in Europe and New Zealand as well, uh, uh, with a strainer on the head, which is uh, um, some of the costume of this religion. Well, to each his own. Uh, and whatever religion you follow, thank you for being with us tonight. <laughs> thank you, Shani. The news today is done for today. Be with us tomorrow, 8 p.m., same time, same place. We'll see you then. Good night.